Tom Marion. I'm the founder of the Piscataqua Rangers Junior Fife and Drum Corps. We're from right here in the area. Kids uh, hail from all around the Piscataqua River. Um, we were incorporated in uh, 2017 and uh, the core is um, comprised of members between the ages of 8 and 18. And I've been here, uh, I think, three times to perform, and some of these kids have outgrown me <laughs> by feet, not by inches. Um, we're stalling a little bit here because we have a couple more kids that are getting out of work and school and stuff. But um, we're going to start with a solo called Kristen's Hornpipe. Fife solo. Thanks, sir. So the history of fife and drum is a basic one. Back during the Revolutionary War, at the very beginning of the Revolutionary War, uh, it, was, it was clear that you couldn't be heard over the din of battle uh, uh, as, a, as a commander. So fife and drum was used to convey the orders of, of the uh, officers in, in the field. And uh, different uh, songs and rudiments of drums uh, were, were played out so that all the troops would know what to do. And fife and drum was part of everyday camp life. Uh, uh, there was a, a, a tune and a rudiment for, for breakfast and supper and, and uh, for um, marching and for... Uh, left flanks and retreats and and when uh, the officer in the field called out a song and they the the fife and drum corps played it everybody knew what to do so that's what fife and drum is all about um, the uh, uh, fife and drum corps consisted of uh, two fifers and two drummers for every 100 troops so uh, some of the very first casualties of the Revolutionary War were fifers and drummers. The first instruments were very crude. Um, in fact, uh, there was many, many complaints by George Washington that they couldn't be tuned together, and he would offer incentives for fifers to um, be able to uh, play nicely and in tune with each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess he had a few temper tantrums. Uh, over over that issue. So what are we going to play next? Brandywine. Brandywine, okay. Brandywine. Five up. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
make some mallow. One, two, one, two. Piscataqua Rangers uh, wear the uniform of New Hampshire's 3rd Regiment. It was the longest serving regiment in, um, in the uh, revolutionary conflict. Uh, these, uh, the 3rd the, uh, Regiment served in the battle uh, in the Hudson against Burgoyne, and they were present at uh, the surrender at Yorktown of Cornwallis, and they served for an additional two years after the Revolutionary War came to an end, uh, and uh, we've worked hard to get these uniforms, they're very expensive and hot. <laughs> so, but. Well, Jamboree has a some distance impression.
by this clock.
decide what you want to play for the next set. Be talking. So Yankee 4.0 means that we've changed that song four times since we started playing it. <laughs> uh, we wrote our own version of that song. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. Uh, there's a Yankee old and a Yankee new, and Yankee new is a little fancier, and um, we have the tendency to play things in our own fashion in an attempt to create institution. It's very common amongst fife and drum corps to do that. And when we all come together for what's called a muster, all of all of the fife and drummers get together from around the area, around the country. They all get together to play their versions of these songs. We play um, also songs that are our own, some that we've written and composed. Uh, we'd like to make fife and drum relevant to today's youth, so we're always trying to freshen it up a little bit and we take on a few challenges. These kids have actually played some classical music on fifes and we, we have a, a new flute built by uh, Walt Sweet that is a, it's a, it's a one of a kind. We have uh, I think 10 of them and they're the only 10 in the world and we're trying to, trying to develop those so kids will be de debuting those pretty soon. Um, and uh, you heard Grandfather's Clock in that set. That's not an 18th century song but the kids like that and they they, they uh, owned it. Um, so I'm going to let you give you an opportunity to ask me any questions, and then they're going to come back and play some more. And anybody have any questions about who we are, what we do? You already know all this stuff already, don't you? The colors? They're, they're nice peacocks. Yeah. <laughs> Why this color? I would imagine there was a, a, an abundance of this color wool kicking around when they, when they, they put together the uniforms. Uh, you commonly see the dark blue with the red facing. That's a that's a West Virginia, is it? West. Dark blue with red. Yeah. Um, Second Virginia. Second Virginia. Yeah. So we wanted something that was you know unique to New England, and this uniform was worn uh, by Mainus people from Maine, and uh, half our corps from Maine, half from, is from New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah. The white on the shoulders. Uh, he is a lieutenant. He is a, a fife sergeant, and that is a drum major back there. Yeah, gold. Um, um. You ready, guys? Okay. What are you going to play? Washington's Artillery March.
show you a little bit about our car. Um, when we got started, we had, what was it, six or seven kids? Five. 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 And, uh, yeah, four of them are here tonight. Uh, the, num the fifth is still with us, but he had homework to do. Um, What's that? Oh, Mateo? What, what, what about Pam? He didn't come until late. Oh, okay. I'm getting a history. Um, so, this is Alan. This is Dominic. This is Jojo, Matthew, Zach, their brothers. And um, Gabby's back here. She's new. This is, I think, your second performance with us? Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm bringing this up because it's free to join. Yeah, it's free to join. Yeah, we, we don't charge anything, and um, and uh, we can make a pfeiffer out of out of a kid pretty fast. Tonight they're also good looking. Um, so so uh, you guys ready to what?
Johnny comes marching home. <laughs> Decade, there's a, a list that comes out of America's top favorite songs for that decade. And likewise, for the century, there's actually a top 10 list of favorite songs for the 20th century, for the 19th century. And we played one, one for the 19th century. It was um, Battle Hymn of the Republic. And we're going to end this performance by playing a song for you that, that is, was in the top 10 songs for the 20th century. Um, you may not recognize the name, but you'll know it when you hear it. This is called Anacreon in Heaven. Anacreon in Heaven. What do you say? Ah, you can rise for this one. Thank you all for coming out today. We're going to hang around for a few minutes and answer any questions you have and uh, maybe recruit if there's anybody here <laughs> under 15. Yeah, okay. 
Um, well, if any of you are under 18, you can come see see us, and we'll we'll tell you all about our our, our uh, great uh, program. Uh, thanks for coming, and thank you, Piscataqua Rangers, for showing up tonight. Thank you.